Are you ready? Ready to suit up and take control. I've lost 40 pounds. I've lost 53 pounds. I have lost about seven inches. Stand by for the secret to success. Now you too can reveal the beautiful body you've always dreamed of. It has really toned my legs. It has toned my upper arms. It has totally defined my stomach muscles. So step on and get ready for the flight of your life. It makes me stronger. Fitness flyer, you're clear for takeoff. Get ready to take flight. With a revolutionary fitness flyer from Gutty Ranker. An amazing total body workout. That burns more than twice as many calories as an ordinary treadmill. Now you can cut your workouts in half. In just 20 minutes, the fitness flyer delivers a full body, fat burning, muscle toning workout. So you get fast results. Guaranteed. So now you can quickly and easily trim and tone hips, thighs, and buttocks. Burn fat and shed unwanted pounds. Flatten your stomach while sculpting legs arms and shoulders and increase energy all faster than you ever thought possible so stand by to discover the secret to reshaping your body fast hi i'm tim from guthy rinker fitness and i want to take just a few minutes to instruct you on how to assemble your fitness flyer first we want to attach the leg supports to the main frame for proper alignment, the leg support should be positioned at the end of the slit opening on each side. After sliding the supports, move behind the machine, picking up the frame so that it runs perpendicular to the ground. By rocking the unit, you can line up the holes to position them for inserting the vertical lock pin. You just want to put the lock pin in about two thirds of the way. Moving to the other side, we'll do the same thing, rocking the lock, rocking the frame into position, and again, lightly putting in the lock pin about two thirds of the way. Next, we need to insert the horizontal lock pin into the forwardmost hole of the main frame. Then we want to take, finally, the bolt, insert it from the inside of the frame, attaching the washer, and securing with the lock knob. And we want to repeat the procedure for the opposite side. Next, we're going to attach the pedals to the leg bars. This is a very easy step. The only thing to keep in mind is that the lip of the pedal faces forward of the fitness flyer. Underneath the pedal, you'll find four holes that correspond with the holes on the leg bar. There are four screws provided, and you need to tighten the screws with the tool that we've also provided, and you're done with this. Now we're on to the next step. Next, we want to secure the front bar. Using a long bolt, simply pull up on the bar till the holes are aligned, thread the bolt through the frame until it locks, using the small washer and the nut to secure. Finish tightening with the tool provided. Be sure to insert and tighten all the remaining bolts. Now that we've secured the front bar, we need to position the upper cam bar. This can easily be done by pulling back on the leg bar, reaching in to grab the bar that has the magnet attached, bringing the leg bar back to the original position, and resting the cam bar on the front bar. Now we need to attach the cam bars. To do so, you can rotate the two bars until they're aligned, and using the large washer and your hex bolt, the bolt should be threaded through both bars, and then using the small washer and the nut to secure on the inside portion. 
be sure to completely tighten the washer with the tool provided and the bolt with an adjustable wrench so that they are threaded all the way through the frame. Next, we're going to attach the lower cam bars. Bring the lower cam bar up, align it with the bar on the front bar, and using your hex bolt and large washer, thread the bolt through both bars from the inside of the frame outward, attaching the small washer and securing with the nut. Remember to securely tighten the washer with the tool provided and the nut with your adjustable wrench. Be sure to repeat these same steps on the opposite side. Now we're on to our final touches. The first of our final touches is to insert the two tension adjuster knobs. Next, we need to insert the handlebars. The handlebars should be positioned forward and inward of the front of the machine. To secure, use the male knob along with the U bracket. Insert it through the post and securing tightly. Now repeat this procedure for the other handlebar. Now we're down to our final step. We're going to attach the abdominal support bracket. If you've ordered the optional computer monitor, you need to feed the monitor cable through the support bracket, securing it into the end cap, and attaching the end cap. This is where the monitor will be plugged in. Taking, now taking two of the four dome head screws, Secure the bracket to the front bar with the tool provided. Now for the ab pad. Using the remaining knob and large washer, insert it through the front portion of the ab bracket into the hole in the bottom of the ab pad. The pad is adjustable for your particular height. Once it's tightened, using the tool provided, insert the final two dome head screws into the support bracket. Now we're ready for takeoff. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Hi, I'm Lisa Hart, and I want to congratulate you for choosing to buy the fitness flyer from Guthy Ranker Fitness. Get set for takeoff on a total body workout that burns calories efficiently and almost effortlessly. We've created the fitness flyer for those of you who want a full body workout in less time and right in your own home. That's right, the fitness flyer's unique design will work your legs, thighs, buttocks, shoulders, arms, even your abs, all at once to burn fat and tone your muscles. The fitness flyer is a fun and safe way to exercise since there's no impact or stress on the knees and back. You'll fly through your exercises and have a great time doing it because we've taken the work out of workout. We want you to achieve your fitness goals and with the fitness flyer, you can. Here's the overall flight plan for today. We're going to learn all the fitness flyer exercises first so that we can put them together in your workout. We'll get your blood moving with some aerobic moves. A warm-up is always important to prevent injuries. And finally, I'll show you some stretches. In your guide, you'll find a beginner and intermediate routine I designed to work every major muscle group in your body. Always have some water handy, wear comfortable athletic shoes, and lightweight clothing. When you're ready to work out, place both hands on the front support beam. Place one foot at a time on your pedals, and remember, when you move one fitness flyer lever or arm, all the others move also. Place your toes near the lip of the pedals to ensure firm foot placement. And then choose fitness level one, two, or three. Three is the most challenging. Relax your shoulders and stand tall. 
Then lightly press your body weight on the pad and keep your knees soft like this. Never lock them. Now check your tension. Start out moderate. And then when you have more flying time under your belt, you can challenge yourself with just a twist of the knobs. Once you feel comfortable, you can chart your own course. Well, enough talk, let's fly. So we're gonna learn each of the exercises slowly first. You've got your body weight lightly pressed against the pad and your knees slightly bent. The first exercise is called the basic stride. And you just take your feet to a comfortable distance apart. Feet are still firmly pressed onto the pedals just in a light fluid motion. Now this would be the slow tempo. All right, now the up tempo, all we do is take it a little bit faster. Still keeping at a moderate distance apart and just use nice fluid motions like you're walking on clouds, not like you're bouncing and jerking and reaching for the air sick bag. All right, so that was the basic stride, up tempo. Now the next one is called the long stride and you just take those feet a little bit further apart. Big stretch out and we're slowing it down. So this is the slow tempo. Now, if you're a beginner, you might want to stay at the basic stride, not take the feet too far apart. Now let's try and speed it up a little bit. And we've got the long stride, up tempo, press. This is a really good stretch in addition to an aerobic workout. All right, moving right along. The next one is called low riders. All right, the low riders are real similar to the basic stride, but we just bend the knees, bend it. All right, and we're still keeping this one at a nice pace. And the next one, real easy to move on to, are double low riders. So you're gonna give me two of each on each foot. Try it right here. There's one and two. Just meeting in the middle before you start on the other side. And we're still bending down real low. This is where you're gonna start to feel it, working through the backs of your legs. All right, you ready to move on? Next, we've got single dips and double dips. Let's try these real slowly. You just take those feet apart, and as we do so, we lower the body weight down. As the legs come together, lift the body weight up. Feet come apart, you lower the body weight down, and then bring it back in. Let's try it a little bit faster. It's lower and lift. And if you've ever seen the lunges or the dips in the weight room, same thing. We're working every muscle in the hip and thigh area. Okay, moving on. Next, we've got double dips. So all we're gonna do, two on each side. And it's one and two, lowering the body weight each time. This is really gonna work those hips and thighs. We've got one more exercise left. It's called the heel lifts. Again, an intermediate to advanced move. We do a basic stride, take the feet apart. As we come into the center, you can lift the heels up and lower. Take it apart, lift the heels up by bending the knees and lower. Now that's one way that you could do it. Another way that's a little bit more advanced, take the feet apart and then lift straight up onto the ball of the foot. Take the feet apart, lift straight up onto the ball of the foot. Let's try it the first way a little bit faster. You take it apart and lift, apart and lift. Keeping those knees slightly bent the whole time on this one. Now, if you'd like, try it the other way, lifting all the way up onto the ball of the foot and all the way up. And that's it. Let's just go back into the basic stride. Those are all of your exercises. Now we're gonna move on to some stretches and put it all together into an introductory workout. So now take your feet apart with your right foot forward and hold it out until you start to feel a stretch. This will be your hamstring stretch. Now I'd like you to keep your front knee straight but not locked. And then we're gonna bend the back knee a little bit more so that it lowers your body weight down. Right now, you should start to feel a stretch all down the back of your right thigh, that's your hamstring, and down into the calf area too. And for a bigger calf stretch, you're gonna lift up the ball of your front foot so that you can feel a little bit bigger stretch down the back of your lower leg, your calf area. And you always wanna hold your stretches for about 20 to 30 seconds and continue to breathe. Now just place the weight back in the ball of that foot, and I want you to bend the front knee and lift the back heel and then tuck your hips under, bringing your body upright. And this is the quadriceps stretch. You should start to feel this stretch down the front of your left thigh and through the front of your left hip. And again, just hold the stretch, lightly hold onto the handles, continue to breathe normally, and release it. Press that back heel down, keeping the knees bent. Bring the feet back together. We're gonna stretch your back. This one's called the pelvic tilt. Just tilt your hips forward towards me, 
and you feel a nice stretch all down through your lower back. Relax your upper body, relax your shoulders, continue to breathe, hold that stretch. Now release the hips until you come up to a standing position. And we're gonna take your other foot forward for the hamstring stretch on the other side. Again, we keep that front knee straight but not locked. And then we lower the body weight down by bending the back knee. And right now, this is where you're gonna feel the stretch all down the back of your left thigh, the hamstring and down into the calf area. And remember, if you want a bigger calf stretch, just lift up the ball of that foot and hold it gently. Just go to the point where you feel a very mild stretch. That's all that's necessary. Go ahead and place the weight back into the ball of that foot. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Lift the back heel. Tuck your hips under towards me. And this is the quadra step on the other side. Hold your stretch. Continue to breathe and release it. Take those feet back together, come up to a standing position, and we'll start out with your basic stride on your right foot, and one. Keeping those knees slightly bent for me, lightly holding on to your handles, and lightly resting against the support pad. Remember to use nice fluid motion, no bouncing or jerking, and continue to breathe. Let's do four more. And here's four, three, two, now double stride, two on each side. Remember to take those feet out to a comfortable distance apart, keeping your knees slightly bent for me, and continue to breathe. Let's do one more on each side. There's one and two. Now long stride, feet way apart. Remember, if you're a beginner, you may want to go back to the basic stride. Just go out to those feet or at a comfortable distance apart. In this long stride, you're going to feel a nice long stretch. Now give me four more. Last four, three, two. Now cut your time in half. Long stride at a slow tempo. Big long stretch, keeping those knees slightly bent for me. Just do as much as you can. Take a break if you need to. And last four, three, two. We're gonna go back to the basic stride, up tempo. Press, keeping those knees slightly bent for me. How are you doing? Stick with me. Take a break if you need to and slow it down. Last four, three, two, Doubles on each side. Double basic stride. Press it. You've got it. One more on each side. Press. Here's that long stride coming up. Long, big stretch. Beginners, remember, if you need to, go back to the basic stride. Last four, three, two. Cut your time in half. It's slow. Okay, we're gonna be moving on to another group of exercises. Remember the low riders, like the basic stride, but you take the feet apart and lower the knees down. Take it, just low riding it. Keeping those knees slightly bent. This is the one where you're gonna start to feel it working through your hips and thighs. Are you breathing? Don't hold your breath. Stick with me. Last, four, three. We go into double low riders, two on each side. Press, keep those knees slightly bent for me. You're doing good. All right, remember the single dips? We're still gonna be keeping the body weight lower. Like a basic stride, when we take the feet apart, we lower the body weight down. So, lower it, lower it. And again, remember this is an intermediate to advanced exercise, so if you're a beginner, stick with the basic stride. You lower, keep your feet firmly planted into the pedals. Left, four, three, Two, get ready for doubles right here. It's double. Keeping the feet still firmly placed. You've got it. So we've got four moves. And we're gonna go back through them all, starting out with your low riders. Up tempo, low riders. Now I want you to think about working the upper body. You can press onto the handles and you can pull, working different muscle groups. Last, four, three, two, double low riders. Here we go. Double. Remember, you're keeping your body weight down a little bit lower, working through your total hip and thigh area. And you do two on each side, slow it down in the middle, and go to the other side. Beginners, remember, you may want to go back to that basic stride. This lowering is a little bit more advanced. Last four, three, then we go into the double dips on each side, and one, double dips. You can really press into the heels and start to feel it working through 
your buns. Stick with me, you're doing a great job. It's okay if you need to take a break, just go back into the basic stride. You're gonna look and feel better than you have in years. Just stick with it. We're gonna go through each of these one more time. Get ready for the low riders up tempo. Remember the low riders are real similar to your basic strides. Keeping those knees bent. How are you doing? You'll start to feel your blood really pumping, and that's all right. You're having fun. Keep it going. Last four, three, two, single dips. You got it. Taking the feet apart and lowering through the hips. And then all we have is the doubles. Last four, three, two, double dips. And double on each side. You've got it. And we're gonna move on to two more exercises. The heel lifts, and we're gonna go back into the basic stride slope. Heel lifts, apart and bring it in. Apart and bring it in. Remember the heel lifts, you can keep the knees bent right in the center, you can keep in the body weight centered, or you can try it the other way, where you lift up onto the ball of the feet. Up and lift. Control it. This one where you lift up onto the ball of the feet is definitely an intermediate to an advanced move. So pace yourself. And we'll do one more time on each side. Press and lift, press, and go into your basic stride, slow, basic, slow tempo, cutting your time in half. And let's move on to stretch your leg. Take your feet apart, just like you did before for that hamstring stretch. Bend the back knee to lower your body weight down. Don't bounce, just hold your stretch. And for a bigger calf stretch, you can lift up the ball of that foot just so you feel a very mild stretch. Continue to breathe and release it. Let's place that foot down. Bend the front knee a little bit more. Lift your back heel so that you can tuck your hips under. And this is your quad stretch, remember that one? Now you feel the stretch all down the front of your left thigh and the front of your left hip. Just hold gently and release it. Press that heel down, keeping the knees bent just as they are. Bring the feet together. Now we go into the pelvic tilt by tucking your hips under towards me. Get that lower back stretch. Very important to stretch. Always end your workout with a cool down stretch. And release the hips. Come back up to a standing position for me. We take the other foot forward, my hamstring on the other side. Remember, you keep the front knee straight, but not locked. Bend the back knee, lower your body weight slightly down. Now that stretch goes all down the back of your left leg. And for that bigger calf stretch, right here, flex the foot and hold. Continue to breathe, you've done a great job. This is just the beginning. Take it down, bend the front knee, lift the back heel. Tilt your hips towards me. Here's the quad stretch on the other side. Hold the stretch. You've done a fantastic job. And release it, press the heel back down. Then the knees come back up to a standing position. Let's just move back into your basic stride. I know I've just thrown a lot at you. After you're comfortable with all the exercises I've created for you, try the entire beginner or intermediate routine. Then make your own flight plan, concentrating on the areas where you want to see the most improvement. Take off on your fitness flyer at least three times a week, eat a healthy, low-fat diet, and get ready for some great results. Now you know why I love the fitness flyer. Everyone assumes that because I have a career in fitness, I enjoy working out all the time. But the truth is, I'm just like you. I don't want to spend hours in the gym. With the Fitness Flyer, I not only get a great workout and less time, but I have fun doing it. So it's easy to stick with my exercise program, and it will be for you too. With regular Fitness Flyer workouts, you'll be on your way to better health and a leaner, stronger, more confident you. So capture the power, the exhilaration, the sheer miracle of flying with the Fitness Flyer, and watch your spirits soar.